Before working on any firearm, make sure the magazine is empty and removed. Also make sure the chamber is empty and the firearm is unloaded. What we're going to show you in this video is how to assemble a Rock Island Armory GI Series 1911. What you will need is an 8th inch pin punch, a small screwdriver, a standard size screwdriver, and a ball peen hammer. We're going to start with the lower assembly first. The first thing to do is grab the trigger assembly and insert it into the frame. Next, grab the magazine catch or magazine release and insert it into the hole on the right side of the frame by the trigger. Grab the small screwdriver and find the slot on the frame. Push from the back on the magazine release slightly and insert the screwdriver. Rotate counterclockwise until you hear a click. Next, you are ready for the disconnector and the sear. Make sure the disconnector is underneath the sear like demonstrated. Grab the sear pin and insert the pin into the hole on the left side of the gun to hold it into place. Grab the sear spring. Push the disconnector forward and make sure the sear is on top of the disconnector. Then add the mainspring housing to hold the sear and disconnector in place. Take the hammer and hammer pin and insert them into the frame. Push slightly on the mainspring housing, making sure the hammer strut is in the middle of the mainspring housing. Take the grip safety and put it into place. Take the mainspring housing pin. Make sure the round edge goes in first. Tap it in place with the handle of the screwdriver. Cock the hammer and insert the plunger assembly. Then you can install the thumb safety. Push the screen on the blinder assembly. Insert the screwdriver towards the thumb safety and push the thumb safety forward. Now check and see if the hammer is working. Now you can install the grip panels. The lower assembly is now fully assembled. Now we will install the upper receiver of the Rock Island Armory 1911 GI series. Again, we will need an eighth inch pin punch and a screwdriver. Take the slide and place the extractor in the hole. Grab the firing pin and the firing pin spring. Add them to the middle hole by pushing them in with the pin punch. Hold them in place. Take the firing pin spring and slide over it. You will hear the firing pin pop out and it's ready to go. Take the barrel and slide it into place. Then add the barrel bushing and rotate it clockwise to secure it. Add the spring with the recoil spring guide and put it into place. Take the frame assembly and push it forward upside down. This way the barrel link will not be moved. 
The slide stop hole will line up with the barrel link hole. Add the slide stop. Move the slide backwards and then push the slide stop into place when the disconnect slot matches up. Put the gun in the battery position. Push the spring down with the recoil spring plug. Rotate the barrel bushing to secure it into place. Check to make sure the slide moves correctly. That is how you fully reassemble a Rock Island Armory GI Series 1911 pistol.